So, originally, how did you come up with your idea for GoFar? Um, me and my dad were just throwing around ideas for a, a game. Um, it wasn't specifically designed for a computer, it was just a game in general, just thinking of ideas for games. And this, this particular thing came up where we were thinking of a ball rolling down a side screen. Um, it, it's based on an old um, slot machine my father had played when he was a child. Um, and we sort of converted that into what it is now, the idea of what it is now, of throwing something down a hole and yeah, seeing if we could blow something up at the bottom. And the theory was, we sort of based it on the, um, uh, well it sounds funny, on the Caddyshack game, yeah. uh, Caddyshack movie, sorry. Yeah. Um, well obviously there's a gopher and you've got a guy trying to get the gopher for yeah. the bomb. It's always been one of my dad's favourite movies and we sort of related that idea to that. We thought it'd be a funny and a good concept and yeah, and we thought, well, apps are taking off at the moment, everyone's doing them, well, not everyone's doing, but a lot of people are, and we're making a lot of money off it, and we thought we'd give it a go. Cool. How did you find apps there? Well, basically, when we, yeah, when we first come to the idea of, oh, okay, we're gonna do an app, we searched around for places up up our way, um, which could work from the Sunshine Coast, but we couldn't find anything really, um, anyone that could actually pull off this type of game to the extent that it should be done um, and give it the justice it should be. So you guys have seemed to come around with, you know, you got the ideas and you've seemed to have um, experience in this field. So we thought we'd go with you guys. Did you have any uh, conception of uh, like what game development involves, how long it would take? And um, so I did have a sort of a slight idea. I've been playing games since I was, I was born. So I, I've grown up with computer games, so I know I'm back to front. I've had all kinds of systems and everything. But um, I did know there was a lot, a lot of process in it because I've been in the industry as in playing wise as a gamer and I've, I've looked into the background of how things work and stuff. and. Yeah, I was confident it would it wouldn't be a straightforward thing. There'd be a lot of a lot of you know back and forth hiccups along the way. Uh, you came to us uh, originally with your idea, and you went through the concept workshop. Um, was your idea fleshed out during that, or did it kind of stick to your original idea well? Um, yeah, the workshop. Um, yeah, we sort of laid it all out, and they gave us ideas on how to improve on our idea, basically, like. We, we came with the basic concept of how the game would look and how we should think it goes, but they were there to give us extra hints and tips and how else, other ways it could be done and, you know, expanded our knowledge on it from what we knew, so. So, um, you're saying before, uh, the bit of backwards and forths. Yes. Um, so, in game development, usually uh, you come up with the idea and it just goes, boom, that's it, and then at the end of the thing you have your game and yes. that's it yes uh, we try and be what we call agile at appster yep um where we involve you so how did you feel your involvement with appster and with major decisions in the game been um yeah really good um you guys have been really helpful and you guys have been understanding um you've been accommodating things you want to change you've done you haven't complained about anything um you know everyone's been really nice um be doing the job, you know, and it's coming out good, and you know, we're very impressed with it. So, you're on the ball, basically. Was there any uh, difficulty, any any bits that you found difficulty? I'm thinking maybe with the backgrounds. Yeah, well, yeah, well, definitely. The backgrounds is probably the hardest part to get right because that's the part everyone's looking at all the time. It's the yeah. part that stands out. It's what you look at and what gives you the ah oh, factor. So. It was very important to get that correct because we didn't want it half done. We sort of want to make sure it it stands out and it's you know people want to be able you know people want to play it. You just want to look, they look good and pretty and yeah. But that was the main thing. It's super important, I thought. You know, because you're looking at it all the time. I mean, yeah. the mechanics obviously are the most important, but you're looking at that all the time, and you know, you want to look at something good, not bad. So yeah, we're just about to launch on the App Store. Um, how uh, how do you feel about that process? We're really excited. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. It's been a long process, yeah. and it'd be good to see the end of it come, and just get it out there, and yeah, just see how well it does, and. Be proud that we've got a got a game in the App Store. Lastly, um, would you recommend Appster to a friend or colleagues? Yeah, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, sure. they're giving really good. So yeah, I, I don't know clients whatsoever. You know, cool. more than good to us, and you've done everything great. So we've got no fault. So, so yeah, really good. Thanks. I'm really really happy with it. Uh, this has been Julian from Appster. Um, that's it.
Until <laughs> 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 next time, signing out. I'm going to use that. That's brilliant. <laughs>